Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly run up XAMPP on a university system. Now there are a couple of ways we can uh, do this, so, but the first thing we've got to do is we've got to stop the IIS system. So we can jump into your uh, network drive if you've done this before, create a batch file, okay, which contains the commands net stop w3svc. The reason there's a pause there is just so you can see it on the screen. So what we do is we double click that, this pops up, and there we go. So that's now turn off the IIS server, which is a web server which will fight with the Apache system. So from here we then go to C drive, into the XAMPP folder, scroll down to you see set up XAMPP, double click, let it run. Okay, so just remember this has to be done every time on a uni system as they reset, um, every time you reboot the machine. Okay, so that's completed. Double click the XAMPP control, choose English, start it up. This should then bring up a little box here. So now we can click start on Apache and start on MySQL. Once they're both green, you're up and running. Now, next what we do is we jump into Internet Explorer, or Chrome, or Firefox, or any particular browser of your choice. And then from here we go to localhost. Now, we set this up to English. Down on the side, we look for the security tab. Notice here how our MySQL is not set up. So, could we go into the security section in the password change? I'm just going to use the word password. Okay, so just password. Then I'm going to click here. Now, if you check the security again, we should have a couple of green boxes. Now, next, what we do is we go back to the XAMPP folder find the htdocs folder. You can either rename it or delete it. In this case I'm just going to delete it. We'll go yes. Then we go new folder and call it a htdocs again. Okay, so this way it's empty. This is where all your uh, files go. So now if I go to localhost, I should have that. So that's XAMPP set up. Now, to point expression to it, load up expression web. Okay, once it's up, you want to do your configuration stuff, so go tools, page editor options, toss in word wrap, change the font to something you can see, change your authoring to HTML5, click on OK, and down the bottom click on code. Now, from here you go site, open site, browse, into computer, C drive, XAMPP folder, htdocs, open, and open. Now this should give you a nice blank folder. From here we right click, we go new PHP file and we go index.php. Okay, we go yes, we don't show me that I'm renaming that. Double click. So as you can see, we still have to jump back in and check these fonts. Because it reset because we swapped over to um PHP. And now to test the PHP, throw on a couple of PHP tags and then echo out to the screen something nice and simple okay now remember from here because we're using PHP and we need the server you don't use the preview here really load up your browser hit the refresh and that should now give you this page excellent so that's setting up XAMPP on the uni system